Welcome, 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 Zatman here. This time, we're going to be going over some Ori lore and theories and plot holes that you might have missed. Obviously, there's a spoiler warning. So, you may be asking yourself, okay, Zat Maggot, what exactly are you talking about when it comes to Ori lore and theories? This is Ori in the Blind Forest and Ori in the World of the Wisp we're talking about, not Hollow Knight. There isn't all that in-depth lore and theories. Even if I was wrong and you were right, which I'm pretty sure I'm right, uh, there still is a lot of plot holes and misconceptions that should probably be talked about and figured out. A lot of things that people are confused about still that I've been kind of looking into and other interesting things you might not have thought about, some theories and stuff like that. So you may be thinking, is there even an Ori lore community? Well, there isn't. So once you've watched this video through, don't even just let me know your comments. I want to hear them, but also let the whole community know some of your thoughts and theories and things you think about. Um, so the reason I mentioned the Ori lore community is because I just want to say the only, this is probably the only theory I've ever seen anybody else mention, really. And that's the baby owls in Ori and the Blind Forest dying by the light, which doesn't make too much sense because isn't the light supposed to be good? I don't know how it kills baby bear days. It just, it just doesn't make sense, no. So, you may be telling yourself, okay, well, uh, trying to make some explanation, you know, well, owls don't like light, so that's why they burn up. Have you ever heard of an owl burning up in the sunlight? Like, no. I mean, they probably don't ever go out in the sunlight, but if they did, they wouldn't burn up. I mean, maybe that's just why you don't see one out in the day ever, because they do burn up and no one's ever caught it on tape. It's only the old tales of it. But, mm, well, when you think about it, there's another good reason as to why this doesn't make sense, and that is because you see Ku and Will the Wisp, a lot of things happen to Ku that just don't make sense compared to the baby owls, and it just, it's not, it, it's a plot hole, probably, because there isn't really an explanation for it, uh, because... Ku, as soon as Ku's born, is held by Ori, and then on top of that, is revived by the light, uh, probably has been to those weird light ceremony things that killed the first elves. It just, it's weird that Ku can survive all this, except the other ones couldn't. Even Kuro couldn't, so I don't understand that, really. It just doesn't make sense. Maybe Ku earned some immunity to the light after being in an egg and then surviving from that and then uh, yeah just it's very it's very weird I, I just don't understand it next theory spirit wells N not that very much of a fascinating thing when i said that name you probably thought okay like you you probably weren't very fascinated and intrigued by that idea but what if i were to tell you about their history who built the spirit wells again you're probably like, well, oh, really you, you stupid maggot because I'm called Zat Maggot. Like, really? Because, like, spirit wolves were probably built by spirits. They're literally called spirit wolves. They're used by spirits. But you see Grom, a Gorlek, build one in Will of the Wisps. And also, several times, you can see other weird places that you see um, the spirit wolves, such as in the, in the Jinzo tree in Mount Horu in the Fort Lone Ruins, and just weird spots that you wouldn't normally expect there to be a, a, a flippin' spirit well. I just, yeah, it just, it doesn't make sense. Here's yet another thing that I just, it, it should just be common sense. I mean, the owls and will wisp that apparently die because of that corruption stuff, the gooey stuff all over the place, like, I don't understand why didn't they just fly away? I just wanted to mention that. Okay, I don't I don't have any valuable information about that. And one more honorable mention. Uh, I call it honorable mention. It's technically on this list, but it's it's not really that much to talk about other than why the heck are there structures all over the map? And who built them? Again, weird spots that you see structures, such as in the Jinzo Tree, in Mount Horu, stuff like that. It's just and in the second game too, in weird spots that no civilization ever lived in, and the spirits obviously weren't there, and we know the spirits don't really build much, you know, advanced stuff, and we don't, another thing is we don't really see Gumo building much advanced stuff, suggesting that, you know, I mean, it's like, he, he wasn't part of his own civilization at that point, so he wasn't able to really build anything without the science he needed, 
Uh, so he didn't really build anything that fascinating. So it couldn't have been Guma, even though he lived right next to the next to the Jinzo tree. So that's just something I don't understand either. Now, now we're gonna get into some deep lore and theories instead of just brushing up on some random questions. Let's get into some answers. Well, actually, I can't promise answers, but let's, let's just get into some lore. So, if, if this is something I wanted to make a complete video on, and I probably will once I look more into it. I haven't looked all that much into it yet. But it's a time loop theory. Now, I don't want you to just take this and think, oh, okay, this guy must be some professional and he knows exactly what he's talking about. He must be the moss bag of worry. Well, you probably are thinking that now with that intro, but anyway, like, just don't, don't, just put it in consideration. If you are thinking, what the heck, I'm not going to believe this, put it in consideration. If you are thinking, uh, ooh, this sounds completely correct, just don't completely consider it. Same with me. I'm, I'm not, I'm not completely considering it. Or, and I'm also putting it in consideration. So, this theory suggests that Ori could possibly be in some sort of time loop. And, what, well, and, like, how, how, what knowledge, what, what proof do we have? Well, there isn't all that much proof, uh, but we do have a mention of it. One of the, one of the songs from the OST, the original soundtrack, uh, is called the Completing the Circle. So it kind of mentions it if they're talking about Ori being in a circle and a loop in, a, in that weird time loop. Uh, so yeah, it's really just suggesting, I've kind of thought about it and I haven't really me, written anything down yet. I, I like my, some of these other theories I'm about to talk about, but it, it's definitely it's definitely something to, to consider and just think about. So if I doubt it, but if anybody is a return viewer and you might have seen my "What Is Ori's Gender" video, I did mention this. It is could spirits be different than other? Could 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 Spirit guardians and spirits be two different things. Like, could Ori be different than the rest of the spirits? Could he... I mean, obviously he's different, but, like, is he a completely different type of spirit? Like, a different breed or even a different species or something weird? Because that is what would back up the time loop theory, is that if Ori is different, that means he is in a time loop. He has to keep... He is one... He is controlling the rest of... He is, like, the master of all the other spirits, and he's the one letting them live by being trapped in that circle. Well, I kind of busted this theory. Now, the time loop theory is still up for consideration because it still kind of stands a little wobbly, but it still kind of stands without this theory. Uh, but I kind of busted this one. And this, this, for any of you who like to call Ori an it, I'm really sorry, but I think I completely, just like, completely destroyed that because, uh, now, you you could still call it Ori or he or she, but I completely destroyed the idea that Ori could be it, which I never even considered that, but it, I, I thought about it and I found a, I found a way to push that aside. So, Sin refers to the passed away spirits as he and she, never as or, to Ori, but to other spirits as he or she. So, if they do that, that means that spirits have genders. So the only way for Ori to not have a gender is for him to be, I say him because that's what I think, but it could be different for you. Uh, it, it, could, it could be different for um, Ori if Ori was a different species or different cre type of spirit or something. So how, how, how could that how could we do, just destroy that? Yeah, well, it's pretty easy. If at the end of the blind forest we see other spirits being born from the spirit tree as leaves falling to the ground, so this obviously suggests that they are both the same thing. They both have the potential to become spirit trees, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this doesn't break the time loop theory. Technically, there could still be a time loop theory, and it could be technically broken if another spirit came in and took the place. Otherwise, the, everything gets destroyed. And that brings us to our next theory that possibly, well, maybe, just maybe, 
the Nibel and Nguyen are actually in a trap because of the light, and the light is trying to manipulate them. So, what is the light? A commonly asked question, what is this substance, this magic, this weird substance that kills infant owls and also uh, makes little flying orb glowy things and whatever else it does? I, 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 it's a commonly asked question, and here's what I think. I think it's evil, actually. I think that it is somehow, now there isn't proof of this, but I think it's a possibility that somehow it has manipulated Nivelle and Nguyen so that the point where the other creatures there besides the spirits cannot live without the light, because if it's not there, there's going to be corruption, there's going to be that weird substance. I think that is actually from the light. Think about it. When the light is gone, the tree is what the corruption comes from. It comes from the tree. In other words, the tree is making it when it doesn't have the, when it's dying. So it's basically try. It's like it's almost as if it's some sort of instinct or some sort of weird way of it making it so someone has to continue the circle in order for it to, in order for it to keep the spirits alive. Therefore, making it so the other creatures of Nibel and Nguyen have to live with it. They don't have a choice. I don't know how they would stop it from creating that corruption. They couldn't, there's, it's just it's a massive tree corruption everywhere. It just, it's, it's, I don't know how you'd stop it. You know, so that is, that is definitely something very interesting that you should think about. Another thing, um, I'm going to talk about in a second has to do with a massacre of the spirit race and if Ori species actually got wiped out so what I'm talking about is something you've probably thought about before I've never heard about it anybody asking it on forums or anything but you've probably thought of it yourself are spirits dead are they ghosts or are they like alive well Sin mentions this. Sin mentions in the first game, when you defeat some of the creatures, that their lights shall return to the spirit tree. Or, quotes, their lights shall return to me from the spirit tree. So, are they going to the spirit tree and then becoming spirits? I mean, we never see any creatures from the spirit tree, around the spirit tree during the cutscenes or anything like that, that look like, um, that look like the creatures we see, uh, today. Now there is a concept art, I don't know if that can be considered canon or not, but there's concept art of Nauru as a ghost, as like a spirit, I don't know what that is. It, I don't know, it might just be one of those weird memory things, but it could possibly be uh, Nauru as like a, as a spirit. And that is, that, that, that brings us to the mask. So we never see any creatures in a or new one. All we see are these weird rabbit things and ones that look like Ori. And what I'm willing to bet is that the reason there are so many, the majority look like mainly the ones that look like Ori, is that there was a massacre and it wiped out Ori species. And that's why there's so many species. Now this, uh, so many spirits like that. So this is only possible if we consider the fact that spirits are already dead. Now, you may be thinking, well, Crow wipes out a bunch of them and, and stuff like that. Well, uh, well, when you think about it, if you just think about it, um, it could just be a second life. It could just be, like, a, the spirit tree using them for something. I really don't think the light is good. I think they're using it as some sort of way to control everything. But we'll, we'll brush up on that. We're just kind of brushing up on it right now. We're just kind of looking at all the things I've been researching and kind of going over it and kind of just mentioning it. I'm going to make complete theory videos about this in the future. So, here's a, just a, I just had to add this in here. Why the heck did the other spirits not sacrifice themselves? Like, it, it's confusing. So, although the other spirits, um, in World Wisp, so the other spirits that were there before or he didn't, didn't, do you make themselves in the tree? They just died. So would they rather die than be a tree, or be stuck in the circle? They just didn't want to, or is there a reason? This could actually destroy by quote quote destroying the 
genderless theory. Uh, this could destroy that because technically, uh, if you think about it, it could still mean that although the other spirits are able to be born the same way, they might still not be able to turn into a tree like Ori can. So Ori still might actually be a different species. We still don't know, actually. If you consider the fact that these creatures were not able to somehow be, start this, continue the cycle in Will of the Wisps. Finally, if you made it at the end of the video, we're just talking about a video I already made, and I'm kind of mentioning it, because if you want to know more about this theory, you can go visit uh, that that um, video. Uh, it's basically just Ori's gender, a commonly discussed topic, probably the only probably the closest thing you can find to Ori lore in the Ori community. Um, so yeah, if you want to go check out that video, I have a lot of a lot of interesting ideas and stuff as to what Ori's gender could possibly be. And yeah, thank you for watching the video and sticking around for all 10 of these interesting concepts and things we were talking about in this video. Thank you for sticking through and, you know, watching until the end. So yeah, bye.